Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich. <coughs> ah, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today I'm using these glowing dice that were sent in by a viewer. Thanks. That's sick. First up, let's roll for bread. Three, King's Hawaiian. We've got the dinner size roll of King's Hawaiian bread here, which is a soft bread made with pineapple juice. It won't be the largest sandwich, but that might be a good thing. Next up, let's roll for maize. Those, those things are like tiny. 12, butter the bread and re-roll. Oh no. I seem to be rolling butter a lot more often this season than last season. Not mad about it, just noticing. All right, let's re-roll. Nine, peanut butter. All right, well, peanut butter on Hawaiian bread's not bad. There's already okay, a it's not, in the bread, so. It's not the worst, it's going be better, but for not now, bad. We'll see what we have to add to it. Next up, let's roll for cheese. That's never happened before. All right, five. Cinnamon Toscano. This firm nutty cheese with a cinnamon rind actually might pair okay with peanut butter. I can see this working. The sweet Hawaiian bread isn't out of place either, but we have a ways to go before the Okay. Okay, right, I'm, still, I'm still here. Eight banana peppers and 11 none. All right, well, mm, as much as I love banana peppers, I don't know. this How about that one? a sandwich that they do not improve. Wait, so why don't, why don't you just skip? Horrible. All right, let's roll wild magic. Three, Snickers. I guess that's Basically why. Preparing wild caught Snickers takes a certain degree of skill. First, you want to slice along the spine and then remove the skin, being careful not to puncture the poison sacs so as to not contaminate the meat. Once all the meat has been properly extracted, you can dispose of the skins. The chocolate, nougat, and nuts we're adding will pair fine with 90% of the sandwich. We'll see about those banana peppers. All right, and last but not least, we have the D20 sauce roll. Nine, onion dressing. This Kewpie onion with garlic dressing that I picked up at the local Asian market is pretty tasty in just about any other context. We'll see how it goes. There's it skips Let's right go there. Ahead and get our sandwich cut in half here. This skips right there. And let's take a look at that cross section. Yo. Oh boy. I think he just took the well, L with this one. Considering my streak of luck lately, Halloween could have hit me a lot harder. Let's give this one a taste. Mmm. This is. This is, this is really strange. Like on one hand, you have peanut butter and chocolate and sweet bread and cinnamon cheese. It all kind of goes together. And then on the other hand, you have onion dressing and vinegar. It's weird, but I've definitely had a lot worse on this show. I'd even go as far as to give this one a six. It's almost like I'm tasting two distinct sandwiches. So I'm gonna call this one the Jekyll and Hyde. I hope you have a happy Halloween, and I'll see you later this week. Tune in Wednesday for a new series. TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich. This is Good afternoon, D&D TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today's episode of Roll for Sandwich is sponsored by Crate Joy. This guy's they sponsored left and right. Date night boxes for me and my dance. wife to try out. And we had a lot of fun opening them up and doing the different activities. I posted an unboxing video earlier, which you can check out by clicking the link in the description of this video. All right, let's go ahead and get into it and roll for bread. Three, King's Hawaiian. Soft and sweet, Hawaiian bread makes a great sandwich. Today I have the dinner roll size. Another so small one. To do. Next up, let's roll for Maine. I've never seen anything other than the dinner roll Eleven size. They make twice. bigger. All right, here we go. Rolling again. Three, pickled herring and ten, pumpkin spice hummus. Ooh. Uh, I, uh, yeah, nope, nope. I'm going to use the Fates card. So as per the well, rules of this card, I get to cancel the roll and pick my own thing. So I'm going to pick ham and roast beef. Well, I truly intended to save that card for a lot longer than this, but I just can't do... I just can't do it. This will be a much there. more pleasing option. All right, next up, let's roll for cheese. Six, Jarlsberg spread. Jarlsberg cheese is like the sweeter cousin of Emmental, and this spread is basically what you might call in the UK a cheese savory. It's Jarlsberg mayo and red onion. Next up, let's roll for roughage. One okay. lettuce and three bamboo shoots. Not breaking any new ground with the lettuce, but that's okay. Sometimes it's nice to just have lettuce on your sandwich. The bamboo shoots are a little... Okay. The bamboo <laughs> shoots are a little bit different. They don't really taste like much. Holy sh... That thing disappeared. What is happening? Anyway, bamboo shoots. Won't add a lot of flavor. I've had we'll days like that before. And some fiber. So, sure, fine, whatever. Let's roll wild magic. 
18, salt and pepper. Again, no new ground here, but it was almost a pickled herring and pumpkin spice hummus sandwich, so I'll take it. Last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. Nat 20! Fantastic, that means it's my choice again, so I'm gonna go with the stadium mustard. Stadium mustard is a creamy brown mustard popular in the Midwest, but especially Cleveland. Let's get our sandwich put together here. Cleveland Monka W. Put our toothpicks in Holy for And let's that cleave it in twain. Thick. And let's take a look at that cross section. Looks good to me. Wow, this is an historic day for Roll for Sandwich. I got to pick three of the elements in this sandwich. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Oh, this is so good. The Jarlsberg spread be a 10 out of 10. is super savory. Goes great with oh, that Oh, he's mustard. doing a little dancey dance. dance. Roast Whatever you do, a little dancey dance, it. it's a 10. These are kind of boring, but they don't detract from it at all. Let's put it on the menu, boys. This one's a 10. And I'm going to call it the Fate's Favor. Happy weekend and see you next time. Yeah, Good but act. would you say that sandwich is comparable to the pizza sandwich? I'd, I'd argue no. I, I don't think so. So I'm just saying. Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today I'm using these blue and gold dice that were sent to me by a viewer. Thanks. All right, first up, let's roll for bread. Two freezer ends. Today I pulled two slightly squished pieces of potato bread from the freezer, Oof. toasted okay. them up, and that's what we're going to use. Next up, let's roll for Stadium our Stadium mustard is usually eaten on hot dogs at ballpark stadiums. Two, pickled herring. After subverting pickled herring last episode, it was bound to come mm. back with a vengeance. I just didn't expect it to come back immediately. Though I'm not a big fish guy, I don't mind this so much. Mm. The onions and the sour cream help a lot. Next mm. up, let's roll for cheese. Two, vegan cream cheese. Mm. This is basically a coconut oil-based spread. It's okay. It's not my favorite. I mean, I definitely prefer regular cream cheese, but it's not the worst. Next up, let's roll roughage. No, please. Seven tomato and ten pickled onions. Well, the little bit of acidity from the fresh tomato, I think, will pair well with the pickled herring because you've already got kind of that vinegary flavor, and with the sour cream that it comes in, it kind of ends up tasting like tartar sauce. Oh, Visually, no. It's nice adding some bright color to this otherwise very white sandwich. These Spanish red pickled onions shouldn't be out of place at all. I mean, there's already onions in the pickled herring. These ones have habanero, so they're a little bit spicy, but not too spicy, so it should bring a little kick to the sandwich. All right, next up, let's roll Wild Magic. Uh-oh. It's bacon! Not the pairing I expected, uh -oh. but I'm not going to turn my nose up at bacon. Does that look it, like microwave bacon to you, chat? That doesn't look like All fried right, bacon. Last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. 18, cranberry horseradish. Ooh. Uh, well, Ooh. yeah, this is, this is probably not going to be that great. Let's get our Ooh. sandwich put together here. Put our toothpicks in for stability. Oh, no. And let's get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. Oh. Well, it seems November is out to get me. There were elements of this one that seemed like they'd go together, but it kind of no. went wrong at the end there. Oh man, I'm so sorry. Let's, let's see how it tastes. Man, there are some strong flavors in this sandwich, and they're not quite playing together. And that horseradish is pretty strong. Oh. I put more than I put last time, or what? The only real bright spot here is that occasionally I get a bite that tastes more like bacon than anything else. That cranberry horseradish really messed it up, though. Without that, it may have worked a lot better. In the next episode of Jeff all in all, Jeff I'm going to give it a 2.9. And, and I'm going to call it the sandwich. red, white, and ew, because at least the colors were cohesive on this one. Here you go, Earl. Eat up. That's it for this week. I'll see you next Friday. I feel, I feel like 2.9 was a little high. All right, let's go again. Next. TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today's episode of Roll for Sandwich is sponsored by Sticker Mule. He's sponsored at every single one now. This dude's killing it. Sticker Mule is a great resource for printing custom vinyl stickers. I've gone through them to get several designs already. And if you want to give them a try, you can click the link in my bio to get 10 custom stickers for just $1. On top of that, all orders over $100 come with their mule sauce, hot sauce. We're going to use it today on the show and see what kind of sandwich we can roll up to go with it. All right, let's get into it and roll for bread. Four, everything bagel. It's been a while since we've had bagels, but I'm happy they're back. Got it toasted up and ready to go. We had this conversation with Chad before. Chad thinks it's crazy and outlandish. 
Everything bagels suck. Plain bagels are superior. Sesame seed bagels are superior. Cinnamon raisin bagels are superior. If you like everything bagels, I'm sorry. You just, you have problems. Next up, let's roll for main. <clears throat> Five, salami. Round Ooh. meat on round bread once again. Not bad about salami. It should be good. All right, let's roll for cheese. One, no cheese. Oh. Uh, no cheese on a bagel is a bummer. It's tough. Well, let's move on to roughage. Five cucumber and ten pickled onions. Cucumber is maybe not the most exciting, but it's cool and refreshing. It's got a nice crunch. And not having cheese and having these pickled, pickled onions, onions is going to suck. More flavor and are a little on the spicy side. They should pair nicely with the salami. All right, since we're not rolling for sauce today, we're going to roll twice for wild magic. Here we go. Two gummy worms and 20, nat 20, dealer's choice. All right, so what I have is these sour gummy worms. This is going to be interesting. I think that the sour and sweet combo might pair okay. Uh, but for my dealer's choice, let's take a second crack at cheese. Three. That's onion and chive, double Gloucester. Gloucester is a semi-hard English cheese with a creamy texture and nutty flavor. This double variety uses whole fat milk, which results in a stronger flavor. Now we'll top it off with our mule sauce, which is a blend of habanero, scotch bonnet, and ghost pepper. It's not insanely spicy. It's got kind of a sweet heat, but I'm definitely being careful not to load not it on the here. gummy Let's worms. Get our no, together. dude. This is almost good. Is it out. was so close. Gonna do a lot of work. Let's get our toothpicks in here for stability. And let's get the it. Sauce looks kind of fire, though. And let's take a look at that cross section. Oh boy. I kind of want to try it. Well, if nothing else, this should help clear out my six sinuses a little bit with the hot sauce and spicy onions. Let's give it a taste. Okay. All right. This is definitely the first time I've had gummy worms on a sandwich, but honestly, they're not that bad in this situation. I feel like the sourness kind of blends with the cheese and the hot sauce and the sweetness. It's a little chewy. That's probably the worst part. But all in all, this wasn't really ruined by them at all. Just a lot to chew between the bagel and the gummy worms. Yeah, I, I don't hate it. It definitely could have been a lot worse. I'm going to put this one at a 6.3. And I'm going to call it the I Choose You in honor of the new Pokemon games coming out today. Thanks again to Sticker Mule for sponsoring this episode. I'll see you guys in a week. Okay, the shirt's fire, but the rating for the gummy worms? I don't know about that one, buddy. I don't know about that one. Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Thanksgiving edition, sponsored by Danos. Let's go. They sponsor on every single one. Let's start off with our Roll for Bread. Three, rye bread. I felt like toasting was required today because this could get pretty mushy. We'll find out. Next up, we'll start with our first leftovers roll. Five, green bean casserole. If you're one of those people who doesn't like any of the stuff on their plate to touch during a meal, this might not be the best episode for you to watch. <laughs> Got a nice layer of our green bean casserole set I understand down. this is a Thanksgiving edition, but... Crispy yesterday. All right, let's see about our second leftover. Six, sweet potato casserole. Yep, definitely glad that I toasted the bread. Our sweet potato casserole this year is not covered with marshmallows, but candied pecans. Though there's always the chance I'll roll marshmallow fluff. All right, now let's hit it with our first wild magic roll. Six, bell pepper. For these leftover episodes, I decided to kind of combine the roughage, wild magic, and cheese lists so that we could prominently feature Thanksgiving leftovers, but add some things to them. This bell pepper should add some crunch. All right, and now for our second wild magic roll. Eight, more leftovers. All right, back to rolling on the leftovers table. One, white meat turkey. If I have to choose between white and dark meat, I'll go with dark meat usually but I don't like white meat. I'm thankful I rolled this and not mashed potatoes because I just would have had just a lot of goop. <laughs> Ooh. All right, and now the D20 sauce roll. 12, barbecue sauce. Oh. All right, barbecue sauce is a good roll to go with turkey. This one's a little sweet, but heavier on the vinegar side. I don't really side, like runny barbecue nice sauce. Chad, do you like potatoes. watery barbecue yeah, sauce? Roll. Now we get to I'm break out fan. something special I've never used on the show before. A D3 three-sided dice. Gluten for the and we are going to use this throne. to decide which of our three flavors of Dano's low-sodium, no-calorie seasoning we're going to use today. One, we're going to go with Dano's Original. Original is an everyday seasoning blend, so this should work pretty well with both the poultry and the veggies we've got going on. All right, time to close this bad boy up. Get our toothpicks in here to keep it together and get it cut in half. 
And let's take a look at that cross section. Doesn't look too bad. We'll find out. All right, well, here is our first Thanksgiving leftover sandwich. Let's see how it tastes. I actually think this is not going to be that bad. This is nice. That definitely works. I think that's probably going to be like it's a, a little bit mushy. Seven and a half. Honestly, to have two casseroles with the white turkey is not as bad because it's a lot easier, especially for leftover white turkey, to be dry. So having a decent amount of moisture in there is pretty good. I think it's safe to give this one a 7.4. And I'm going to call it the Midwest Mess. Thanks again to Dano's Seasoning for sponsoring this episode. Come back tomorrow, Tuesday, for another Thanksgiving leftovers episode. Good afternoon, Dean. Uh, uh a messiah a, 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 a psychic a psychic